The American War of Independence, 1775 to 1783, initially began as a war between Britain and 13 British colonies in North America. Hundreds of battles were fought with countless casualties on both sides until finally, on September 3, 1783, a peace treaty in which Great Britain formally recognised America's independence was signed. Good. And oh, don't forget we've got the narration. Yeah. Excuse me. I, Prime Minister George Grenville, declare that this direct tax is to pay for the defence of the colonies. Thank you. <laughs> As a result of the Stamp Act in 1765, 27 delegates from nine colonies met in New York City and drew up a statement of rights and grievances, thereby bringing colonies together in opposition to Britain. Ooh, the Sons and Daughters of Liberty saw colonists trying to fight back by imposing non-importation agreements. The Sons of Liberty often took the law into their own hands, enforcing these agreements by methods such as tar and feathering. This method was a violent method intended to hurt and sometimes kill. It was a painful process of someone being pinned down and covered in boiling tar. This was followed by being smothered in feathers. Let me show you an example of this. This is Natalie before the tar and feathering method. And this is her after. <laughs> Colonists, disguised as Indians, dumped tea overboard from three ships in the Boston Harbour. April 1775, British troops are sent to Lexington and Concord to seize supplies of colonial gunpowder and also to capture John Hancock and Samuel Adams. Once at Lexington, an open conflict occurred, killing eight Americans. The British were forced to retreat at Concord, though after losing 70 men. This was the first instance of open warfare. Hancock, we have the gunpowder. Yes, Adams. Now we can initiate the revolution. Uh, the British! The British! Bang! 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 Rhode Island. Philadelphia. Massachusetts. Connecticut. Pennsylvania. Virginia. North Carolina. New York. Maine. Georgia, South Carolina, <laughs> New Jersey. I, George Washington, nominate myself for the head of the Continental Army. We have suffered for too long under the British rule, suffering through restrictive act after restrictive act, and most recently, the intolerable acts which have denied us our freedoms. I will lead you, my fellow colonists, against the British oppressors in our search for freedom, liberty and independence. And action. Whoop, whoop. We agree. We agree. We agree. All of the colonies were represented at this meeting that took place in Philadelphia in the beginning of May. Colonists still hoped that their grievances would be met by King George III. 
George Washington was named head of the Continental Army. We're the British! Yeah. I'm George the First! <laughs> we are the colonists! On June 17, 1775, General Howe successfully dislodged the American defenders on Breed's Hill after three assaults. However, this was a devastating blow to the British Army because of over a thousand men out of Howe's 2,500 men were killed. The Patriots lost less than half this number at the Battle of Bunker's Hill. <laughs> 